Today we will be doing a simple but vibrant headrest for my double bed which I have constructed a few months back. Plan A was to construct a wall mounted headrest on top of the bed. But on the downside it will eat away 20 cm of my precious bed space. And the weight of the wall structure will be on the thin partition wall. So I came up with a fresh idea of a freestanding full size headrest which will be a robust construction compared to the erstwhile. Now let us see how I have framed the structure. Three vertical plates are mounted on the base plate onto which the horizontal supporting structures were attached. Then the exposed parts were laminated and the inside faces were coated with oil based primer. The head plate is pasted with heatex adhesive and fixed at 22mm sponge sheet over it. Then the fabric is wrapped over it and attached to the main frame. Ok let's move on to the construction site. First of all cut all the panels as per measurement using a circular saw. Mark the vertical panel and cut the slots for supporting structure and the head plate. Paste and attach the vertical panels to the base plate.
and at this stage the structure will look something like this. Now attach the supporting structure and top panel using glue and screws. It's time to laminate the exposed panels with the textured lamination sheets. Then I applied 3 coats of oil based primer on the inner faces. Since my switchboard was situated too low on the wall, I have to make a new slot so that the board will come over the top plate of my headrest. It's time to attach some bushes to the base plate in order to protect my primer coating from getting scratched. As all the other panels are completed, it's time to complete the lamination of the top panel. As you can see the mounting of my switchboard is also complete. Now let's plate some 22mm 50 density foam to the head plate. Wrap the sofa fabric over the foam and pin on the back side of the plate. Very important to round off the edges of the head plate before attaching the foam so that it won't get cut by the sharp edges. Now hook the headboard onto the main frame and our headrest is ready. We can attach the head section to the main bed frame as well as to the wall behind using screws. This will help to reduce the movement of the total structure. I have decorated the wall using some acrylic mirror plates and attach a big pro smart pattern to make the drop light. Now we can enjoy the drop light with any color and intensity to suit our moods.
that's all for today guys thanks for watching if you like my video please like share and subscribe